Hey, what's up everyone? This is Eli from checkit.com here with an After Effects tutorial on everyone's second favorite day of the week, Effects Friday. And today we're talking about how to make this really interesting and cool vlog intro. This is actually for the vlogs I'm going to be starting up here pretty soon. It's this really cool, just minimalist type intro. I'm going to be including the project files for the one right here and the one I'm making right now at checkit.com slash download. So you know, go there and download it. It's all for free. And also, guys, uh, don't forget to leave a like because it helps out so much. You guys have no idea how much it helps out. And leave a comment because I leave all my favorite comments at the end of the video. So, guys, this minimalist type intro was actually something that I saw a while back. I can't remember where I saw it. I think it was something to do with GoPros or something like that. And I thought it looked awesome. And I can't remember. I don't think it was exactly like this, but it looked very similar. And I thought it looked really cool. So... That's uh, where I got the idea for this. I'm sorry I don't remember exactly where it was, but yeah, it's pretty awesome. So now, let's get to the tutorial, guys. Let's start by making a new composition by clicking this button down here. And 1920 by 1080 at yeah, 6 seconds. Actually, let's make it 3 seconds, because we want it to happen all very fast, okay? Alright, so if your background isn't see-through, then you need to click this button right here. This button just toggles the transparency grid on and off, so... Yeah, you need that to be blank. So now we can go down to this bottom blank canvas area. We're going to hit Ctrl or Command Y to make a new solid. Let's make our first solid a green color. And I have my green right here. I'm going to click right there. And uh, in order to grab colors off of the grid, you guys need to toggle off the preview. At least that's how it is in my After Effects. It just doesn't work right if I have the preview on. These are my colors right here. If you guys want to copy those, you can. Okay. And I'm just going to name this first one Block 2. Okay. Now let's hit Ctrl or Command Y once again. And we're going to make it kind of a grayish color. Doesn't have to be exactly the same as mine. Okay. And let's name this one Block 1. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to animate these blocks. So let's zoom out, hit P for position, and then just drag it straight up. All right. And then this block we want to drag straight down cool so guys making sure that you hit P to bring up the position we want to select this keyframe stopwatch over here that creates a keyframe at the first frame we're gonna move forward to about uh, 10 or 15 maybe in between there we're just gonna drag this straight down while holding shift okay so it overcomes the entire image once again perfect and now what we want to do is we want to push this block up so let's hit P now let's hit the keyframe and move forward to about 20 frames maybe. And then let's just drag this straight to the middle. And we want to actually put the block 2 on top. And then we want to toggle on the title slash action safe. Goodness, that's hard to say. <laughs> so click on it. And we just want to actually arrange this down until it gets exactly to the middle. There we go. Maybe a little below the middle because uh, since this is a brighter color, it looks like it's taking up more space. It's just how our eyes see things. So I'm going to put mine just a couple pixels below the center. And now what we want to do is we want to grab position for this block. We want to copy this keyframe and we want to paste it by hitting Ctrl or Command V right below where our finished one starts right there. All right, and then we're going to move this block straight up. I'm just using the arrow keys right now. And I'm going to drag up, hold shift, and put it right there. And just put it down a few pixels until it hits right below where we can see. And the reason for this will become clear in a little bit. I actually want the block one to happen faster. And I want these to happen a little slower. So I'm just going to drag these to where I want them to happen. All right, so now I'm going to hit zero. Maybe a little more this way. I'm just messing with this until I get exactly where I want it to be. All right, and now I want to make sure that I have motion blur on for these. So I'm going to turn on this big bouncing ball right here. And then if you don't have the options here, you can hit F4 to bring up the options. I'm just going to click the ball for both of those as well. And now motion blur should be on. Awesome, that's looking pretty legit. So now what we want to do is we actually want to turn on some easy ease keyframes for these. So I'm going to select the last keyframe. I'm going to right click it, go down to keyframe assistance, 
easy ease. You guys can hit F9, but something's weird with my Camtasia where it doesn't record or something if I hit F9, so I'm just avoiding that. I'm going to do it for that one as well. It goes down easily. This one comes up, stops nice and soft. Perfect. All right, so there is our basic animation. Now we can get to animating those words coming on. So let's go up to this button right here. This is the text tool. We're going to click on the top and then let's just type in something like minimal. Cool, because this is a minimalist type intro. I'm going to double click on it. I'm just going to work with it until I get this looking how I want it to look. Okay, I don't want it too big. <laughs> Am I right, ladies? <laughs> no, okay. I'm just going to push that in a little bit. I'm using Calibre. You guys can use whatever you want. And I'm uh, making this top one green like I did in the first intro. Perfect. I'm just going to drag this down to here. I'm using the title action safes. I'm just going to kind of, you know, get a pretty basic looking intro. Cool. Now I'm going to go back up to the text tool once again. I'm going to click down here and I'm going to type in intro template. Cool. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to double click the entire thing. I'm going to make it black. And now I'm going to highlight the intro layer right here. And I'm just going to make that white. I'm going to highlight the entire thing. I'm going to make it light. Cool. And I'm just going to size the entire thing down and increase the spacing on it. And maybe uh, delete that space right there. It just looks better that way. I'm just showing you guys what I did in the intro. I thought it looked pretty cool. But I mean, some people don't even like minimalist type intros. So if, you, if this isn't your t cup of tea, I'm sorry. Now it looks pretty center. We can start animating it. So what we want to do is we want everything to start coming in after this. So maybe right about there. So let's just drag these over until we get to right about there. Cool. So now these things aren't even on, actually maybe a little more, so it comes right about there and then we'll have them start to come on right there. Alright, so let's start with the minimal layer. Turn the eyeglass off on the intro template layer and now let's select minimal and let's just animate it. So let's hit P for position and we want it to end up right there, but we'll have it come in right about here. So let's hit a keyframe for the position go back to where it starts and then just drag it straight down holding shift right about there cool and then let's just drag it up past that other keyframe that we made so then it kind of uh, goes above the point and then comes back down and let's highlight both of these and make them easy ease by hitting F9 or going to keyframe assistant easy ease of course and now let's kind of make it look good Maybe have it come up fast and then slowly come back down. So let's hit zero and see what we did. Maybe uh, change the render region right here so we can get a faster render. So it comes up. I mean, it's not bad, but I think it goes a little too high. I'm actually going to drag it down a little bit. I'm going to hit zero once again. Cool. I'm gonna hit zero again. I'm just like getting this perfectly how I want it. That looks pretty cool. Alright, so we also need to turn on the motion blur for this so it looks a million times better. I'll show you. See? Told you. So now, guys, this is where things get kind of uh, confusing and tough. What we wanna do is we wanna click in this blank canvas area down here, hit Control Y. And we want to make a new black solid. Okay, there's a reason for my madness. Okay, now we want to right click on this blank solid. We want to go up to pre-compose. And let's just call this Luma. Okay. And now what we want to do is double click on the Luma mat. And then we want to go into here, click down here and go controller command Y once again to create another blank solid. We'll make it white this time. Okay. And now we'll just drag the white layer up. Actually, let's make it on the bottom. White basically represents what's being revealed. All right, so we have this Luma mat right now. Just make it invisible. And what we want to do is turn back on the intro template. And we want to animate this real quick. So the problem with the intro template is that 
it's not the same color as this top one like minimal was so minimal looks like it comes up and it stops and it looks like there was a mask there but there really wasn't if I do that same thing to the intro template if I hit P and we want it to end up right there so we'll hit the keyframe for position right there we'll go to the front and we'll just drag this up you'll notice that it is still visible and it looks very stupid so <laughs> how do we fix that we need to trick this layer into thinking that there's a mask there and you can't just put a mask on this layer because it will follow the text it's very strange so what we want to do is hit f4 you'll see we have this track mat option here we just want to select luma mat luma and you'll notice that it disappears and now we just need to make sure that it looks good okay so we need to click on the luma mat and just push the luma mat up a little bit using the arrow keys until it looks like it is masking off that text that's pretty cool huh <laughs> so now what we want to do also is click on the intro template and just make it go all the way past that keyframe maybe right about there ah, that's gonna be too much I'm just holding shift until I get something I like I'm gonna hit zero and see what happens that looks really cool alright so now I'm gonna select both of these last keyframes right click go to keyframe assistance easy ease you guys can hit F9 you lucky ducks alright now I'm gonna just drag this over so I don't want it to happen exactly at the same time I'm gonna hit zero and see what the animation looks like alright it's looking pretty good but maybe a little too early I'm also gonna hit F4 once again and make sure that the motion blur is on for it. I hit zero. Alright, I'm just gonna fine tune this. I don't like how far it goes down all the way. Cool. And I'm also going to make it so it comes on a little bit later. Just, just a tad. What we want to do to turn off the easy ease is just hold control and click on it. I'm going to do that for both of them and see if I like it better. I actually like that a lot better, so I'm going to keep it that way. Alright guys, so the last thing we need to do is animate the entire thing to open up and look like it's revealing the end product. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that intro template is parented to the block 2 and the minimal layer is parented to block one and then we'll just animate these last layers so let's grab this last keyframe paste it right about here and grab this last keyframe copy paste it right there all right and then we can have it zoom out actually if we move these forward we can have it zoom out right about here and okay so for block one we're just gonna push that straight up and for block two just gonna push that straight down and now we'll zoom in hit zero and watch our finished product and check it out guys that looks pretty awesome so I guess the last thing that I would want to do is highlight the entire thing right click pre-compose Move all attributes, of course. And I'm going to call this color me. All right, now let's create a new adjustment layer by going Control, Alt, Y. And let's just call this CC for color correction. Let's go over to the effects and presets and type in change because we want to grab change to color. Let's drag that onto the CC layer. Let's change the green to anything really how about like a uh, kind of brighter blue that's kind of cool yeah I like that and now I'm just going to hit zero and see how it looks all right guys check that out check out our final product <laughs> so what we want to do is we want to hit controller command M or for my sake I have to go up to composition add to render Q because uh, I'm filming but anyway uh, <laughs> now I'll go to the output module let's click on lossless go down to quick time there it is right there make sure that your video settings have pre multiplied 
parentheses matted selected. And if you have audio, you can do audio output, but I don't edit audio in After Effects. All right, go to the composition layer and let's go right here. Go to desktop and now we could type in template for the fans, yo. Save. Render. And thanks for watching guys. I really hope you guys learned something or that you guys take something from this tutorial and you're able to use it in making intros and such. I am really happy that you guys have been showing so much support. Seriously, you guys have been leaving so many comments and liking. It's so awesome. Leave a comment and I'll probably put it at the end of the next video if it's awesome enough. And uh, don't forget to stay and watch till the end because your comment from last video might have made it. And so with that, guys, I hope that you guys have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys on Sunday or Monday. I don't know when I'm going to make the next tutorial, but I'll see you guys soon. Peace. <laughs>